Hey everyone, just wanted to go through a quick flow of how to get Roots set up, installed, and deployed. And so this shouldn't take too long. I just wanted to get a quick tutorial up um, because oftentimes it's a lot easier to see it in action than it is to read through all the docs. And I know that um, Roots can be pretty complicated and there's a lot to read through on the site. So I just wanted to get a couple videos up to get people started quickly. And let me know, of course, if there's anything that's still confusing about this, and I'm happy to try to clear it up either in the documentation or with another video. So to start it out, um, all I have up here is a command line, which is what we need to interact with Roots. And if you're not familiar with the command line, it might be a little bit difficult for you to get down with it. But I am planning on putting up another video on the very basics of command line, which really is all that you need to deal with Roots here. Um, in a little bit so hopefully I can get that going for people that are a little bit unfamiliar in the meantime let's get started the first thing you want to do is um, get roots installed and so this is the command to get it installed and uh, as soon as you enter in your password here you should see that npm goes out and tries to grab a whole bunch of files and dependencies and get them in here uh, I'm going to skip over a little bit of this. It only takes about a minute. And so when this is done, you should see this nice uh, dependency tree here. It looks pretty confusing. As long as you don't see a lot of big red uh, error text, you are in the clear. And if you do see a lot of big red error text, it's most likely because you forgot to uh, run the command with sudo before it. So try it again with sudo, and if you're still getting errors, then by all means let me know, throw up an issue in the GitHub repository, and I'll make sure to take care of that. Anyway, now that this is installed, um, you should see that we do have a roots binary available to us, which we can use to create a new scaffold for a site, which is just excellent. So first things first, I'm going to cd onto my desktop where I want to make this app and run roots new and after new you can put the name of your app and this one I'm just gonna call example for now and so that will uh, place down a bunch of files inside of an example folder which we can uh, change directories into and we can see the files in here and we can open that up in uh, whatever is your favorite text editor for me it certainly is a uh, sublime text so here we go, we've got this basic project structure. You can see that this is pretty simple here. Um, inside of assets, there's your CSS, your images, and your JavaScript. Um, and inside of the views, you've got all your HTML files. As is mentioned on the site, the default stack here is going to be uh, Jade along with CoffeeScript and Stylus. However, if these are things that you don't think you can get down with, you can always just change this to .css if you just want vanilla CSS. Coffee you can change to .js to just get JavaScript. And any of these guys you can change to .html. In addition, we support EJS, um, which I talk about a little bit more on the site, and perhaps I'll do a tutorial on that later. Um, but for now, let's just deal with the default stack. Let's get the, uh, the results immediately here. Back in the command line, I can run roots watch and you'll see that fairly quickly we get a pop-up in our browser window of this site uh, everything looks to be working and just doing great so let's check out some of our uh, source files here in index you can see this is almost an exact mirror of what we've got going on here we've got a bunch of really nice capabilities with jade uh, we can write markdown in our views we can write copy script in our views we've got the ability to include partials and additionally to use view functions um, sorry, view helpers, which will give you a lot of power if you use them right, which can be defined right down here inside of uh, app.coffee, and you can see title with markup is a function which we could feed input if we wanted, um, but that will be rendered out here with the result, which is really nice. Um, but let's forget about this. I just want a basic hello world here, so I'm going to save that, and immediately you can see my browser is updated in the background and push my new content, which is just great. This will work for all of the uh, changes that you make, except for two ignored files. So anytime you want to change your CSS, change colors, change styles, or your JavaScript, you'll get that push automatically over there. Really convenient not have to tab back and forth and keep refreshing your browser. Uh, so I would say I'm pretty happy with this site now. This looks about production ready, right? Um, and so it's just about that time to ship it. So I'm going to stop the watcher using Control-C, and uh, I'm going to maybe make a commit with git so let's see how my status is going I'll make an initial commit 
um, stage my files, and I'll commit. So here we go. I'm all clean with Git here. And now I can just run roots deploy. And you'll see that um, as long as you are all set up with Heroku here, it will check your Heroku credentials. It will compile your site, uh, make a commit uh, with the compiled files. It will create an app for you on Heroku, which you could see that it's done up here. It's Fast Springs 4762. Um, and then it will push my code on over to Heroku. And you can see that it's using a very basic node server. Uh, the files for which Roots is automatically injected into the project right over here. You can see proc file, uh, server.js, and package.json. No need to worry about these. Um, and so it looks like our code has been pushed. So we can run uh, Heroku open. And in just a moment, it should pop open a tab in our browser. And here's our app. Um, it's been deployed to Heroku. Not a problem. Everything is good in production. And uh, I would call this a great success so far. So that's the uh, quick and dirty getting started with Roots Zero to deploy. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this so far. And if you have, you should definitely check out some of the other screencasts where I'll go over a lot more of the uh, project structure in more detail, including especially uh, the extremely powerful CSS library that ships with Roots.